much. The little princess was angry again. No, no, not that one. Bring me the yellow shawl, she shouted at the servant. This food isn't tasty. Bring me some fruit, the little princess angrily commanded. The little princess never spoke to her servants respectfully. She was never kind to them. No matter how hard they worked, the little princess had no kind words to say. She always made them feel bad. The servants were very sad and very upset about the way the little princess spoke to them. Her mother and father tried hard to teach her to be respectful to others, but she never listened. One day, her father told the queen, I have a good idea on how to help the little princess understand the value of respect. When the little princess woke up the next day, no one was around. She shouted and shouted, but no one came. What should I do now? the little princess thought. The little princess went to look for a dress on her own. It took me so much time to pick a dress. My servants always helped me find a dress, the little princess cried. It was too hard to clean my shoes, the little princess thought as she walked out of her room. There were no servants around. She started to understand how much they helped her. As she was walking on her own, she tripped and fell. The little princess started crying. Oh, how I wish someone was around to help, she thought. Her mother and father, who had been hiding and observing her all along, came to the little princess's side. Mother, where are the servants? the little princess asked. Well, we sent them home, the queen said. Looking at the king, I'll treat them kindly from now on. Please ask them to come back, father. They've helped me so much. Now I understand how I mistreated them. Please ask them to come back, the little princess said. After that, there was no more commotion in the palace. The princess continued to practice talking to everyone respectfully and listening to them. The servants and the princess built love and respect for each other.